In marking the White Ken Day, members of the association marched to Kamono Village where they celebrated through various activities, including braille reading, dancing, and demonstrating their day-to-day -day lives relying on their canes. The white cane is a mobility tool used by people who are blind or who have low vision to get about independently. A member of the association, Crispin Matanyambe, appealed for support, especially from motorists, to be considerate about the situation of people with visual impairment when crossing roads. Still, we need to appreciate the drivers of my country, Namibia, to exercise whenever they see in the road a person walking ahead. They must know and feel in their heart that the people or a person passing is a visually impaired person. No matter how young or how old he is or she is, he must give them a chance in the road, no matter how dark it is, they must leave him to pass. The country advisor for the Namibia Public Passenger Transport Association assured the gathering that their concerns will be taken up to reduce road accidents. He also pledged to engage various transporters on reducing fees for people with limited vision. Our including visits to the regional specialists in this year or last year like, when we got a uh, specialist from New York who came and did some operations to our community who needed such a service which was a success and a lot of people were actually there. Speaking on behalf of the health director in the Zambezi region, Tinashem Kandi, the regional physiotherapist, said they are committed to offering and improving services to people with disabilities. Juliet Siveso, NBC News. Katima Mulilo.